Well, greetings, you magnificent bastards, and welcome back to another video. This time we're doing a review of the Sega Luminista series, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Spider-Gwen. How many times do I say Spider-Man at once? But anyway, let's take a closer look at the box. Here we have the front. There's a better look at the front side, back, other side, the bottom, and the top. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the figure. So not much assembly required for this one, just need to pop a leg onto the body, pop onto the base, and voila. You have a fully submasted piece. And overall, the paint sculpt this figure is pretty damn good. Anyway, taking a closer look at the face first, and I think it looks pretty good. I like the uh, sort of, not really particle patterning, <laughs> it's not even a word. Uh, the faded sort of patterning in the uh, outlines of the eyes there. I think it's really nicely done. Um, it does sort of fit the art style of uh, Spiritiverse. See the webbing lines in the inside of the hood as well, which does get a bit sloppy here and there. And not enough paint is uh, applied there, but it's not too bad. It looks okay. Not the worst thing in the world. There's the back of the hood. It looks like a back of the hood. <laughs> the pose is a little bit funny looking from some angles. Kind of looks like she's doing like a Scooby-Doo run. Yeah, the updated suit is kind of cool. Um, the webbing's on the uh, forearm. Has also been pretty good done. That's not English. And you do see some like textured carbon fiber patterning throughout the black portions on the suit. The paint's been pretty well applied. And there we have the back side. Oh, Spider Gwen asks. Oh, fuck, her now she's thick as hell. Is this Spider Gwen or Gloria from Madagascar? But there we have the shoes, the upside down. There we go. It's also sculpted pretty well. The soles of the shoes have been sculpted properly. And the laces as well has been sculpted and painted, so that's rather nice. It actually does come with a simple black base, which is a little bit basic, but it does its job, so no complaints here. Let's move on to some size comparisons. There's a Mudding, Figma Union, an Ultraman, a Plush Mucky, Red Ranger. So overall, I think this is a pretty damn good figure. If you like the character, if you like the series, I definitely do recommend picking this figure up. However, I do definitely recommend picking up the SH Figure Arts over this one. But if you just want a simple, cheaper alternative, then this is a pretty damn good choice to go with. Sculpt is nice, paint is pretty good. Pose is a bit funny looking, but okay. So yeah, pretty good figure. But anyway, that does it with this video. I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, one, do it next time. Bye. Also join my Discord. It's fun, I swear.